there's more than one worldview, right? We don't just have to go into the dominating worldview, the dominating culture. We could subvert it, right? We're blessed with this culture, so we need to use it as our tool, as our weapon in the 21st century. Hi ho and mabuhay, my name is Henry Jake Foreman. I'm absentee Shawnee from Oklahoma, as well as Filipino and Scots-Irish. Soy de burke, hijo de maiz, planting seeds of consciousness upon the land like a weed. I grew up, born and raised here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Spent a lot of time at these handball courts uh, in high school at Albuquerque High. Growing up in Albuquerque was rough and rugged and beautiful all at the same time. My dad was an alcoholic and I was going down that same path myself um, until he passed away of cirrhosis of the liver. And when he passed away, that's when I really started to get a critical understanding of, wait a minute, why was my dad alcoholic, right? Why was his grandfather an alcoholic? And I could trace it back, right, through history, the history of colonization. And I could understand that I was going on that same path. But I chose to do something different. I chose to heal. I chose to stop drinking, and I chose to get into my passions, bicycling, gardening, and art. And that transformed my life. I had a responsibility as an indigenous person to share it with as many people as possible. This idea of educating people and this idea of intergenerational engagement has always been a part of our culture. So I kind of do that with my own type of engagement and education at the Native American Community Academy. And uh, that's been awesome, just to be able to work with the kids around suicide and alcohol and drug prevention. Education is a form of sovereignty. Education is a form of transformation. Right? Education is revolutionary. And we get to do it every single day to connect our culture, put it into practice. We all could connect back to our indigenous roots. Some might have to go a little farther than others, but we all have indigenous roots, and we could use those indigenous roots to inform our future by incorporating those roots and those worldviews and those ways of knowing into the 21st century. By using processes that our ancestors use, right? There's numbers, there's elements that we, that we can incorporate back into our life to help us organize our thoughts, to help us better speak to one another, to help us make money, if you want, to help us really uh, make an impact in the community. Indigenous ways of knowing, indigenous research methodologies is the future. This is the coolest thing we could be doing right now. It's coming out of Burke. It's coming out of UNM. It's coming out of our ancestors, of our people here in New Mexico. We have a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of creativity, a wealth of history, a wealth of culture. And that's just what I want to illustrate, you know, in my TEDx talk.